JP Casanova record press operator and Southwest record press. Hey, what's up? So we're here at Southwest Record Pressing. Pressing records. <laughs> what I do when I'm not playing music. The true story of origin for Southwest doesn't line with me, but with my brother. I started at Softwax uh, shortly after after they had already got this space and started operating, like a little a little over a year after that. Um, just as the pandemic broke, I was in the service industry a lot, like a lot of my colleagues here were as well. Yeah, little by little. I would, you know, start putting in more and more time over here, just helping out wherever I could. You know, of course, wanting to support family, my brother. I eventually kind of just made the switch, left the service industry altogether, and uh, am now a full-time record press operator here at Software. Yeah, behind me we have uh, the SMT, operated by one of my colleagues. Just throw away, as you see, with uh, damage. But, so you would uh, install nickel-plated stampers, of course, created by uh, an electroplating uh, facility. That, which is not what we do, but another kind of business that we work very closely with. With these stampers, we would uh, install them onto a press, and this is a. Uh, uh, momentarily out of commission, Hamilton. Yeah, basically, you would uh, install your A side and B side, load your uh, hopper up with uh, some of these PVC pellets, uh, depending on what, the, what kind of job you're running. Uh, it could be black, it could be yellow, it could be a crazy splatter. It's up to the final crew. Yeah. Basically, just uh, load up the hopper with a uh, set pellet, turn the machine on, and then before you know it, you're touching records. There's a little more to it, not to bore anybody with the uh, with the nuances of uh, dialing in settings on, uh, on a particular machine for a particular job, you know. Tell you over here. When you have a pressed record, you want to look for a few things. First and foremost, you want to make sure that all of your grooves are clean. There's no uh, staining or anything like that on them. Here, I'm gonna just gonna keep it on this side since it doesn't have a label on it. Yeah, basically, you're gonna be want you're gonna want to be looking out for like uh, any like dimples or scratches that may have been pressed onto the record. Thus indicating that either the stampers are damaged or faulty, or you know you might want to uninstall and reinstall them, give them a nice cleaning. Uh, but basically, once uh, you've checked those first few boxes, you can go ahead, give it a listen, and you should have a, a pretty clear record. We are two of three boys. Uh, yeah, about like 11, 12 years old, uh, we started messing around uh, 
like with instruments. Uh, like our dad was a radio DJ in Dominican Republic. My mom loved to dance. Our aunt was a singer and you know, there was always like a guido shaking around, or you know what I mean, like uh, around the house and whatnot. Yeah, like our adolescence that we actually started like playing guitar and uh, it was actually Kiko that got the first guitar. And at the time I remember I wanted to be a DJ. <laughs> Yeah, like scratching records and stuff. But uh, so Kiko, being a couple years younger than me, uh, gets a guitar and then starts a band with my best friend at the time, who also played guitar. It was more of a necessity that they needed a bassist. So I set aside my aspirations to become a DJ and uh, and picked up the bass instead and. That was, yeah, that was like 14 for me. And then, like 15 years later, I'm still playing music, and Kiko has now opened up a uh, record pressing plant. And uh, here in Philadelphia, he left Miami. Uh, so after your record test is a visual inspection, now it's time to uh, keep you. That's uh, industry talk for quality check. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's the fun part. You get to pop on a record and listen to it. Uh, here we have our multi turn table setup. Fun for spinning records. Uh, but more importantly, uh, for QC. Once the records are made, it then goes over to packaging. This is the assembly uh, part of the, of the whole process. So depending on if your record has inserts, you know, stickers, like the whole the whole nine, like download cards and whatnot, everything will get packaged in their appropriate uh, appropriate uh, sleeves and whatnot with all the goodies. And then once all that is sleeved up and ready, almost ready to be shipped, it then goes over to shrink wrap. That's down this way. regardless of how good you think you are or not, uh, should definitely put your, you know, put their music out there in whatever format available, uh, just for the sake of doing so, because, you know, there, 
there almost always is someone that that will appreciate it, if not uh, if not even just you yourself. I can tell you firsthand since I started working here and of the many many records I've pressed. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, everyone and anyone can put out a record, and it's always worth it. As for the Kulevnas album, I think it. Uh, you know, I believe it's just gonna be like a milestone record. I mean, you know, I don't think anyone, at least around us, is doing anything like we're doing, and. It's gonna be a very special, magical moment in time, captured and put to wax. Yeah.